Auburn freshman Brandon Manchano comes into the final day with the lead shooting eight under par and Augusta's Brock Everett close behind shooting seven under. We start with Manchano's second shot off the fifth hole where Manchano's shot lands just a few feet away from the pin as this would result in a birdie bringing the freshman back to eight under. Later, we have Manchano on the 12th hole putting for par here and his shot goes just wide as Brandon Manchano bogeys the hole and moves back to seven under. Then Manchano's next drive off of the 13th hole and his shot goes into the rough, almost in the trap. But Manchano would hit back to back bogeys to fall back to six under and he would lose his lead. Now we go to the 12th hole, Brock Everett's second shot on the par four. Great shot here as Everett's shot lands just a few feet away from the hole. Later, he would putt in for birdie here to improve to seven under, and Everett would take the lead after 12. Now we see the last chance for Auburn's Brandon Manchano on the 18th. Here's his second shot on the par as he overshoots the green and ends up in the rough. Though he would save the hole with this great chip, putting the ball just short of the hole as he would putt in for birdie and finish the day with a score of seven under tied for first and forcing a playoff between Manchano and Everett. Back on the 18th for the playoff, Brandon Manchano's second shot and he puts a little too much power on it as the ball lands in the rough and bounces off a tree. Tough shot to recover from. While Brock Everett played it a bit safer, here's Everett's third shot, and he chips in right onto the green with a chance to birdie putt for the national championship. Here's the chance to claim the national championship with this putt, and he does it! As Augusta's Brock Everett wins the individual national championship. Last week, it was the D1 Women's Golf Championship. This week, the men's turn. Quarterfinal action from Stillwater, Oklahoma and the Karsten Creek Golf Club. The first quarterfinal featuring the second seed Duke and the seventh seed Texas as Duke's Adrian Pendaris birdieing the 14th with a fist pump to boot as he wins the hole to get the Blue Devils a point with a four and three win. This matchup, though, decided by the fifth match between David Gim and Jake Schumann. Gim trailing by four holes at one point, but on the comeback trail, that long birdie putt gives him the win on the 10th hole. And then Gim's approach on the 13th, just throwing darts out there. Look at this ball. Ends up within a foot of the cup to win another hole for Gim. But Schumann, give him credit. He held his nerve here on the 18th. Schumann drains an eagle putt to win the match one up as Duke advances to the semis, winning three to two over Texas. Quarterfinal number two, three seed Texas Tech, six seed Alabama, the first of three Big 12 versus SEC matchups. Alabama's freshman carrying the tie, Wilson for one decisively, seven and six over Kyle Hogan. Then Davis Shore would get the decisive point here on the sixth. His par putt gets every bit of the cup as it drops to win the hole. And then the freshman, at the 8th, his 17th hole of the afternoon, sinks a birdie putt to win the hole and take the match. 2-1 and one, Alabama advancing to take on Duke. Quarterfinal number 3, top seed Oklahoma State, 8th seed Texas A&M, and the teams were locked up in a tight one. A&M's Chandler Phillips rallying to force a 19th hole thanks to a long birdie putt right there, but his opponent, Victor Hovland, held him off. Hovland's second shot from the rough. Look at this ball, matriculate up pin high. Great shot out of the long stuff. He would win one up to give the top seed its second point. Another matchup coming down to the 18th hole. The Aggies, Brandon Smith, needs this chip to go in to force an extra hole. And comes up, oh, just short. Oh, so close for Smith. A great effort from the sophomore, but it leaves Austin Eckroat here just needing this short putt to win, and he drains it. The Cowboys, who haven't won the title since 2006, advance to the semis. Last quarterfinal matchup, fourth-seeded Oklahoma, fifth-seeded Auburn, Oklahoma, the defending champs. Brad Dahlke won his match when he sinks the birdie putt at the sixth. 
his 15th hole to win 5-3, and three. but Auburn's Brandon Mancino, who lost the individual title in a playoff, getting some redemption. The birdie putt on 18, his ninth hole of the afternoon, allowed him to stay two up. Then the lefty, his approach here at 8, the second to last hole in his round. It's a beauty. Mancino wins the hole, knocking out the defending champs for Auburn, and that is worthy of some mascot love from Avi as Auburn advances as well. Division I men's golf semifinals. Carson's Creek, Oklahoma, number two Duke facing off against number six Alabama, while top seeded Oklahoma State takes on number five Auburn for a chance at the championship round. Alabama's Davis Shore with the strong start. Four under after four holes, and here on the fifth hole, his first shot is great as it rolls back towards the hole so slowly, so smoothly. This would lead to this birdie putt to put Shore up five through seven. Nice. On to the 13th hole where Shore's opponent, Jake Schumann, overshoots the hole and concedes as Shore gives Alabama their first match point going six and five. Very well played. Now, here's Alabama's Wilson Fur, his second shot off the 12th hole, great approach as the ball takes a few bounces and rolls right to the pin as Fur improves to all square with Evan Katz through 12. Now, Alabama's Lee Hodges with a chance to claim the match on the 16th and his putt just finds a way into the hole, giving Alabama their second match point, winning 3-2. and two. Then not much after, Davis Riley had the chance to clinch the match and send the Crimson Tide to the national championship on 16. With this birdie putt, he sinks it, sending Alabama to the championship round. Alabama advances. Now, Oklahoma State against Auburn. On the fifth hole, OK State's Austin Eckroat chips in the rough birdie to take the hole and move to two up through five. On the next hole, Eckroat would put it in here for birdie to take the hole and move to three up through six. Now, on to Victor Hole. On the 15th hole, his first shot, a great one, as he places the ball right onto the green. Oh, that's nice. Then his third shot here for a chance to claim the match with this putt, and he does it, winning the match four and three. Now we move on, we go to Zach Bochu. Putting for the hole on eight. A really tough lie, but Boju gets just enough on the ball as he drops it in and he moves up three through eight. Then we move to the 15th hole where Boju can close it out and claim the match with this putt and he sinks it in, winning the match four and three. Then we go back to the matchup between Austin Ekro and Brendan Machino. Machino needing this chip to stay in the match and it comes up sh just a bit short. Machino concedes and Austin Ekbro claims the final match 3-2. Oklahoma State will take on Alabama in the championship round. The Division I Men's Golf Championship final round. Number one, OK State against number six Alabama. This is a rematch of the 2014 golf championship where Alabama came out on top. The matchup between Oklahoma's Zach Bochu and Alabama's Jonathan Hardy. Bochu off to a strong start as his first shot of the third hole lands right on the green. This would lead to this short birdie putt as Bochu would go up two through three. Then, on the ninth hole, Bochu stuck in the sand trap but hits a perfect chip shot out of the trap and right onto the hole to eagle and go up seven through nine. Then on the 11th hole, Bochu with a chance to claim the first match for OK State with this putt for par and the ball drops as Bochu wins the match at eight and seven. On the seventh hole, Oklahoma State's Victor Hovland hits a great first shot as it takes one bounce and settles just a few feet away from the hole. Hovland would take the hole going up two through seven. Onto the 12th hole, a par four in Victor Hovland 
smashes his first shot as the ball hops onto the green. Hodges would concede the hole and Hovland would go up four through 12. Hovland keeping his lead and the chance to claim the match on 15. With this short putt, he sinks it to win Oklahoma State's second match at four and three. On the seventh hole, Matthew Wolf hits a great first shot that lands just a few feet away from the pin. Wolf would take the hole going up four through seven. Then on the 15th hole, Wolf's first shot on the par three and he hits a great one as he places that one right onto the green. Then, with a birdie putt, Matthew Wolf can claim the match and claim the national championship, and he does it, making Oklahoma State your 2018 national champions. Congratulations.